Alrighty, Captains. So we had a question today in the group about uh, making this box uh, fit the same size as your text. So let's just say we're going to delete this here and say, hello world. And um, what we see is the, the box will actually grow and shrink based on the number of letters. Um, obviously, things like L's are thinner than things like O's. Uh, so you may run into a bit of difference, but me, E, O, L, L. So even like something like this. Um, so how do we do this? So we're running our string in, which is what we'll have accessible inside of Regloom. Uh, we're running that into a text render. Uh, we're not changing any of the scale or anything in here. Uh, running that into the top layer of a video mixer. And for the background in here, what we're doing is we are using a length um, node. We're grabbing the length of the string in integers. So basically we're counting how many characters there are, getting that length. We're then just going to put a float here because we want to do a multiply and we need to do a, percent, uh, a decimal point here. And we can't do that because that's immediately going to take an integer in. It will only give us whole numbers. So we put this float in the middle. What I'm then saying is for every one letter, we're going to add 0 0.08 length, oh, sorry, width to the box. And then I've also added another add here. So just another point to just some padding. So if I get rid of this to zero, you can see that sometimes it will clip on the outside. So I found that point two is just a nice buffer to have. Uh, and what we've got there is we're just taking a rectangle, a shape rectangle. We're feeding this new number into the width. I found the height of 0.2 is good for just the standard text at scale one. And then we can come in now and say, all right, let's take the shape renderer, put a color on it and feed it into the bottom layer of the texture out. And that is how I would have um, the way to change the, the text and have the box feed along with it. Now, another way you could go about it is if you wanted to change the scale as well. So if you were changing the scale of the text here to say something like 1.5, you notice that would immediately jump out. How I would fix that here is something like a float in. And we would go to maybe maximum size two. And we'd say our default value is one. We'd come in here and we'd say our scale is going to be one here. So we're now controlling the size of our text by this float. So we need to then say we want to multiply both our width and our height by that as well. So we just move all of this across. We would add in a multiply. And we'd come in and say for our width, we'd feed it in and out again. But we'd also feed in the input from this float in. So now when we scale up, you'll see our width changes with it. Again, set that back to one. And we need to change the height as well. So we're gonna create another multiply, so control CV. What we're gonna do is take in the height, so 0 0.2, which is what we found here, so 0 0.2. We're gonna punch that down into our bottom number, 0 0.2. And we're just gonna feed in our float into the top and feed that into our height. So at one, it's gonna be there, but if we make it larger and smaller, obviously we don't wanna clip or it'll get into doubles. So now we've got an ability to change the size of the box and we also have the text we can type in. So I hope that's been useful. Cheers.